One of the things that I wanted to bring forward is that uh, the state of Oklahoma needs to look at maintaining a safety net and making sure that one of our most vulnerable populations continues to be served in a way that is comfortable with the parents, with the friends, family of those that currently are in our, syst in our system. Um, community has worked well and I think that that is something that sometimes gets lost. It does work well, but closing two centers like Norse and Sork in such a short time frame um, puts a very big strain on that community system. And I think that the, the DHS Commission, when they voted to do that last year, did it very hastily and did it in a very uh, untimely type of a scenario. If you look at how many people are still in the two facilities and the time frame that they have to actually get them into the community, in my opinion, I don't believe that they can actually accomplish what they're trying to with their current plan. We also heard from DHS and kind of their perspective. We uh, were also hearing a little bit and got a little bit of information from a national perspective. And I think that that's important to kind of look at what other states are doing because you hear uh, constantly that they're moving away from resource centers, which is true, but they're not doing, they're not doing it in the, in the way that is being presented and going completely and totally community. Most states continue to maintain some beds because if you completely eliminate all the beds that you have in your system, then you've basically handed the keys over to um, an outside party. And I don't think that that is good from a, from a policy perspective. I don't think that that is good from a financial perspective. Because the first thing that will occur if you have no safety net is that the providers outside of the system will probably ask for an increase in terms of their pay.